Earlier this year, I did a video on the best VO mics to start your career. And honestly, it can be tough to get them all in, as there's always more microphones to discover. And this one, whew, did I ever discover it. This is the SE 2200, an albeit blandly named microphone, but it does make up for it with its performance. By the way, I do have to say, SE did send me this mic for the review, but they have no say in the review. And I should also point out that this video is sponsored by Riverside.fm. Stay tuned to hear more about that coming up later. Now, the body on the SE2200 is all metal. The grill, it's just a touch spongy, but nothing I would be too worried about. The switches are a massive upgrade from the X1S as they are the standard switches you would expect on a microphone like this. Outside of those switches and the logo, there's nothing really of note on the body of this microphone. Now, along with the microphone, you also get this shock mount. And I'm not overly crazy about its design being plastic, though it does do the job seemingly well. It is a compression fitting for the microphone. Never going to be a massive fan of that myself, though I do know more than a few people that actually prefer it. So I'll leave that up to you. But the big bonus to this microphone is the included pop filter. I really hate the plastic on it, but I get why it is but it's a metal mesh pop filter and frankly, one of the best included pop filters that I've worked with. Metal pop filters have a bunch of benefits to them over the nylon ones used by other companies. Again, it may come down to taste, but this is a nice bonus for me. There is one slight drawback here, but the edges of the pop filter can be a tad sharp and can catch things like clothing if you're not careful. That is a really weird thing to say in a mic review video, but here we are. This is a cardioid condenser microphone. It has a frequency range of 20 hertz to 20 kilohertz, has a max SPL of 145 dB with the pad engaged, signal to noise ratio of 82 dB, respectable self noise of 12 dB, low cut filter at 80 hertz and 160 hertz, which is 6 dB per octave, and a neg 10 dB and neg 20 dB pad. And speaking of all of those specs, here's the frequency response graph. Super flat with a bit of a lift in the high frequencies and another lift in the airiness. Now, as we go through our comparison mics, let's talk about our sponsor. Used by well-known content creators such as Guy Raz and Gary V. The New York Times, Spotify, and countless other successful companies credit Riverside with providing them with unparalleled studio quality podcasts and video recordings. Aren't you sick of the ugly compression on your audio and video? Zoom fatigue is real, my friends. With Riverside, the quality you shoot and record in is kept regardless of your bandwidth. Riverside records separate local tracks of each speaker uploaded to the cloud. These high definition files are available to be shared at a moment's notice, ensuring your clients, subscribers, and colleagues are left with an indelible first impression. Link your phone's camera to Riverside's mobile app and you're all set. Use Riverside's clip editor to transform any long form content into multiple shorter pieces in just a few clicks. You can even export files to Adobe Premiere Pro seamlessly. Click the promo code down below and see why over 70,000 people use Riverside every day. And if you want a promo code, stay tuned. I might just have one of those later on. Now let's take a look at the off-axis rejection of the SE2200. This is me speaking about five inches off the front of the capsule. Now I'm speaking about five inches off the side of the capsule. And now I'm speaking about five inches off the rear of the capsule. Now let's take a look at the plosive projection of the SE2200. Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers. Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers. Now let's take a look at the proximity effect of the SE2200. This is me speaking about five inches off the front of the capsule. Now I'm about one inch off the front of the capsule. Five inches, one inch. Now let's take a look at the roll-offs as well as the pads. This is me using the microphone with the flat frequency response. This is with the roll off at 80 Hertz. And this is what it sounds like. Now we have the roll off at 160 Hertz. And this is what it sounds like. Now let's check out the pad on this thing. This is with the pad not engaged. Now we have the 10 dB pad engaged and this is what it sounds like. Now we have the 20 dB pad engaged and this is what it sounds like. Okay, so it does lose a bit of its versatility with the fixed polar pattern, though for the polar pattern that it does have, it does it really well. It's a very smooth microphone and a fantastic price to performance. Honestly, 
I kind of fell behind in doing a review of this thing, not because it's bad, but because it became my go-to for my morning show since I got it, and it kind of just blended in with everything. And with that said, I haven't had an issue with it whatsoever. And being almost 100 bucks less than the NT2A, that's a pretty decent deal. And do you know what else is also a good deal? Riverside FM, because, you know, you can use it free, too. Riverside is so intuitive, no download or installation is required. Your guests simply join in the chat by clicking your invitation link. You can also join as a producer, which means you can produce from backstage without being recorded. This super cool function allows you to control the show, thus ensuring all settings are correct. Thanks to Riverside's Magic Editor, you can upload split-screen videos to YouTube in seconds. Clip Editor lets you edit extraneous video takes on the spot without having to rely on editing software. Adding backgrounds is always fun, but here's the number one reason to go all in on Riverside, a recording tool that can give you the power to grow and monetize your podcast. And that's today's Mic Drop Moment. Click the promo code down below and discover what Riverside users already know. Not all podcasts are created equal. There's Riverside and there's everyone else. Use the code Dark Corner Studios for a 15% discount off of any Riverside membership plan. But remember, you can also use Riverside for free. Thanks to Riverside.fm for making this video possible. If you want to see what other microphones I do recommend for getting yourself into voiceover, try this video here. Got some great options there. Thank you